Welcome back to Economics. This is Dr. Kling. Today's topic is average cost and marginal cost. And there's this kind of classic graph where you can put either price or cost on the vertical axis, quantity on the horizontal axis, and we have average <coughs> total cost and marginal cost uh, hitting it right at the bottom. I may not have drawn that terribly well, but that's what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to try to explain where that comes from. So let's start with the average cost. And let's say we have a, um, our business is delivering packages. So we deliver packages using a truck. So we have one truck we're delivering packages <coughs> and when the truck is uh, when we start out it's empty so we, we're, we can think of more queue more quantity of packages uh, as filling up the truck and so at first when Q is low our more Q, more packages, lowers our average cost, right? If we, we have this whole truck and we only deliver one package, the average cost per package is expensive. Uh, if we have 10 packages, um, <coughs> the average cost goes down. But eventually, as Q rises, we get to a point um, where average cost rises. So, you know, if we had a hundred packages, then we'd have to start to add shelves to the truck, or else the packages would be so disorganized it would be impossible to deliver them. So. Uh, eventually we have to add shelves to the truck. We might have to trade the truck for a bigger truck if, the, if, the, uh, if we get even more packages. So at some point the average cost rises. So that's where we get what's called the U-shaped, I'll put C, <coughs> C there, a U-shaped average, what's called average total cost. Total includes fixed cost, which in this case would be the cost of having a truck, and variable cost, which might be the cost of, let's say, adding shelves or um, for each package we might have to uh, sort of do label the package so so we can track it well and so um, that would be variable costs it's costs that relate to volume whereas the cost of the truck is really unrelated to volume we, we need a truck whether we have one package or fifty packages but the labels the labeling cost varies with the number of packages anyway I just uh, tried to explain to justify this U-shape average total cost. And if you have a U-shape average total cost, then I think I can show that marginal cost will equal average total cost at the minimum. And let me give it an intuitive argument for that. The marginal cost is the next cost of the next unit of output. So at minimum of ATC. If if we're over to the left of this min of this minimum, so if we're over here somewhere, so at the left of the minimum ATC, <coughs> then we as we so that means ATC is going down. So ATC is going down 
as we add Q. So that's what the early stage where we'll say we go from five packages to six packages. The average cost per package goes down in our trucking business. So the average cost is going down, and that means so if average to, so if average total cost is going down, that means marginal cost must be less than average cost. That is, the cost of that sixth package must be less at the margin than the average cost of the previous five. In fact, the marginal <coughs> cost of that package might be close to zero. When we're to the right, so let's look at that graph and go to the right. When we're somewhere over here, where average total cost is now going up, then so to the right of the minimum average total cost is going up which must mean that the at the margin the marginal cost is greater than average total cost therefore if to the left marginal cost is less and to the right marginal cost is greater then at minimum marginal cost equals average total cost. And just in case there are any uh, calculus students in the audience who want to see the proof of this in calculus, the minimizing average total cost, we Define, remember, average total cost is equal to cost, which is a function of quantity, divided by quantity. That's our definition of average cost. It's a cost function divided by quantity. And minimizing it, <coughs> we take a derivative, that times the, deriv the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So we get uh, QC prime minus C all over Q squared. That's our derivative is equal to zero. So we get multiplied by Q squared, move the C to the other side, and we get QC prime equals C. And then we take, move the Q to the other side, we get C prime equals C over Q. C prime is by definition marginal cost. C over Q is by definition average cost. QED, marginal cost equals average cost when we've minimized average cost. So that's just a kind of a quick calculus proof of what we just did up here when we were setting these, uh, you know, making this kind of intuitive arguments. All right, that's all I have to say about that stuff.